What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video, I'm going to be testing the Carlson's Coyote Choke. And I'm going to be using my Mossberg 835 Tactical Turkey. And this shotgun has a 20 inch barrel. It's 12 gauge. And the ammo I'm going to be doing this test with is some Winchester Super X 12 gauge three and a half inch number four buck with 54 pellets and a muzzle velocity of 1,150 feet per second. And here are the shells guys, just absolutely massive shells. Okay. Three and a half inch, 54 pellets. And this is the choke tube right here. Carlson's coyote. And it doesn't say what the constriction is. But it does advertise that it will keep tight patterns out to 70 yards. So we're going to put this to the test. I got some targets I'm going to set up at 25 yards and 50 yards. And we're going to see how tight the spread is. And whether this coyote choke performs as advertised. And it is ported. As you can see there's some holes here. And it's an extended choke so... This knurled part of the choke sticks out past the muzzle. So I'm really curious what kind of patterns I'm going to get with this number four, three and a half inch buckshot. And this is not only a great load and great choke for coyote hunting, but also for tactical use. Number four buckshot is still pretty large pellets. They're almost a quarter inch diameter pellets and 54 of them with the three and a half inch shells so there's a good chance you'll make a hit on your target so let's see what happens here guys let's see what kind of spread we get all right guys mossberg 835 tactical turkey carlson's coyote choke we got some winchester super x number four buckshot 54 pellets 1,150 feet per second. That's over a thousand grains of lead, guys. It's just a massive amount of lead. Let's see what kind of pattern we get at 25 yards. All right, guys, Carlson's Coyote Choke, 25 yards, Winchester, Super X, three and a half inch, number four buck, 54 pellets. You can see the pattern is pretty tight. Okay, most of the pellets are in this area right here. Okay, there were a couple of outliers. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven eight nine we had some outliers as you can see that kind of drifted away from the main pattern but you can see most of the pattern right here and i'm not sure how many pellets that is let's try to count we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So, you know, over 35 pellets out of the 54 in this area right here. And I'm just going to take my tape measure and show you guys how big the spread is. So we got about eight inches left to right. And then up and down, we got about six to eight inches or so. So that's a pretty tight pattern at 25 yards. I'd say that's pretty good. So now the big test is going to be what will it do at 50 yards since they advertise that these will produce tight patterns out to 70 yards. So let's see what happens at 50. I think it's going to be a pretty big pattern though. 
I think it's going to probably cover up most of the silhouette here. So let's see what happens, guys. I'm going to move this back 50 yards. All right, guys. Mossberg 835 Tactical Turkey. Got the Carlson's Coyote Choke. We got some Winchester Super X number four buckshot three and a half inch shell. Check that out, guys. Just absolutely massive. 54 pellets. I moved the target back to about 50 yards. Let's see what kind of pattern we get. All right, guys, so here we are at 50 yards. Here's the target, and you can see it's pretty big spread, although there were a lot of pellets still on target, but you can see most of them went off the paper. So I counted about 25 pellets on the paper, and the other ones went off the paper. So about half the pellets hit this silhouette target. And this is just a standard silhouette target. It's uh, two feet wide. So pretty big spread, I would say. So I'll just count some of them with you. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So 29 on paper. And then we got uh, 30, 31, 32, uh, 33, 34. We got 35, 36. So about two thirds of the pellets stayed on this piece of cardboard. So pretty big spread I would say you got a nice tight grouping over here but other than that it's it's not really reliable in my opinion for long-range use like they advertise they say good out to 70 yards with number four buck and that's what I did I used number four buck and there's no way that this would hold a tight group at 70 yards uh, not enough for a humane kill on a coyote that's for sure I mean, you would definitely hit the coyote, you know, with a bunch of pellets. I mean, you got probably about a, a dozen pellets in this small area here. But then you got a lot of flyers. So I wouldn't say it's too reliable, um, in my opinion, for long-range coyote hunting. But I would say maybe up to 40 yards, you'd be okay. Definitely 25 yards, you're good. So I would probably keep it between 25 and 40 yards for the maximum amount of pellets in the vital area. And for security or home defense, this could be a good option. I mean, you do have a, a big spread there, but you do have a lot of pellets on target, you know, probably about 20 pellets on the silhouette just in the black zone. So that's pretty good. Um, each one of these pellets are about a quarter inch in diameter, so they're pretty big pellets. They're not small, they're not birdshot, so you know, each one of those pellets is going to do some damage. But that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I'll be doing more three and a half inch patterning tests, so stay tuned to my channel for that. Check out my 12 gauge shotgun playlist for all of my 12 gauge shotgun videos. But that's it for now. Take care. God bless. And don't forget the three Ps. Prepare, practice, and persevere.